This is honestly how my day used to look. Seriously doubt that. Alright, that was obviously over-exaggerated, except for the dinosaur part. That was real. My job was actually really great. I made a lot of money, and for the most part, it was enjoyable work with great people, but it just wasn't making me happy. Don't be a crybaby. For me, and this is important, it's process, not outcome. I don't even know what that means. So now let's take a look at my day now that I'm working from home. Now, instead of waking up at 6.30, I get to wake up whenever I want. I still set two alarms just to make sure I don't sleep in too late. I don't want to turn into a college kid again, and I enjoy mornings and I don't want to miss them. I usually get out of bed between 8 and 9 and do the normal bathroom routine, which you don't need to see. And thanks for that image right there. Then, and I'm kind of embarrassed to show you this part, here's my morning work outfit. I put on my slippers and robe and go downstairs. Yeah, this is my daily attire now. Ladies, I usually sit on my couch and check analytics and reports from yesterday while I rehydrate. It is technically working, but I'm really not getting much done. I'm just seeing what happened the day before and getting my mind ready for what I'm going to do today. But I'm in no hurry. I usually then go down a YouTube rabbit hole until I feel fully hydrated. Then my favorite time of the day, my first cup of coffee. Now I do intermittent fasting and keto, which means my first cup of coffee of the day has nothing in it and it's on an empty stomach. So it usually hits me pretty hard and I feel great. I feel weird. And now here's where the day can really differ. After relaxing and enjoying my morning and after the caffeine really starts setting in, I start getting restless and decide what I'm going to do. This is usually around 10 o'clock. I often get dressed for the day around this time also. And yes, sometimes getting dressed simply means swapping out my robe for a hoodie. Don't judge. I wasn't judging you. Sometimes around this time packages arrive from Amazon and I start testing them and doing review videos on them. I've really been loving the Amazon Influencer Program and I've begun building a business around it. There are tons of videos on this channel about it if you're interested. I'm also building this YouTube channel that you're watching right now from scratch. So sometimes I'll work on one of these videos. This isn't my only channel. I actually have multiple and I usually find time to work on something fun. It's getting way harder to impress people on YouTube these days. Am I right? I mean weird. I mean fun. You are really gone. It's a rare occasion that I'm not doing at least some sort of video work during the day. I fill up the rest of my day by running errands, going shopping, or even the rare bit of exercise. Emphasis on the rare. But I'm gonna blame the current weather in my area. Don't make unnecessary journeys. It's currently March in Pennsylvania, so I'll run more in the spring. Day. I eat my first meal at noon after fasting for 18 hours, which makes lunch way more enjoyable. After lunch, I pretty much do the same thing. Sometimes I watch YouTube videos, sometimes I find things around my house to review, and sometimes I have an idea for a YouTube video and I start filming and editing that. I take lots of breaks and wander around my house drinking lots of water and occasional coffee, which means I use the restroom on an average of probably 600 times during the day. All joking aside though, it really does feel good to work on projects when you're inspired or when your coffee kicks in and you feel like doing something rather than being forced to work at very specific times. This is especially true for more creative projects like videos. You can't force creativity. When I feel creative, I create. And when I don't, I relax and do other things. It's actually pretty amazing. Now, even though I don't have a specific start and stop time anymore, I'm still almost always done with working around five o'clock. It still feels like the workday is done to me, so I eat dinner and start relaxing, like I haven't been doing that all day. You're lazy and you're stupid. But it really does feel different. It's, it's kind of hard to explain. After dinner on the weekends, I like to sit in my living room, but on weeknights, for some reason, I prefer to relax in my bedroom. I don't watch TV. I don't even have a TV in my room. I am an internet junkie. I also still go to bed pretty early. I'm lights out around nine and I watch videos until about 11 and then go to sleep. And actually after doing this video, I realized that my entire life consists of either making or watching videos. I'm not sure how to feel about that. You should be ashamed of yourself. Weekdays still feel like weekdays and weekends still feel like weekends even though the line between them is a bit more blurry now. I was honestly a bit worried that Fridays wouldn't be as exciting anymore, but for some reason they still are and that 
that makes me happy. I like to drink and punch people out. Now it's only been about two months at this point that I quit my corporate job, so maybe I'm still in the honeymoon phase, and maybe all this will change drastically in the future, but for now it's my reality, and I'm glad I documented it for myself, and I'm happy that I shared it with you. It'll be fun to see how it changes over the next few months, and if you'd like to come along on the journey with me, then please do all of those things you're supposed to do to help the channel grow, and I'll see you in the next one. So what do you think the next one's gonna be?